Hey guys, this is the first part of my review for the Lumiere Vena Velvet Foundation. This is one of their four formulas. And the color that I received this in was Light Cool. And I think this is actually the shade of the four foundations that's going to match me the best. But um, they sent me four different shades in four different formulas. So um, with the other formulas, if the shade is not exactly a perfect match, I'm just going to try and review the formula as best I can. Um, the Vena Velvet formula, they say, is targeted for normal to oily skin, which is what I have. Um, it's a mattifying foundation, and I think the coverage is buildable from what they call light, medium to heavy, and I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, and I think that was all, and, but it's supposed to give like kind of like a velvety finish, mattifying, like I said, for um, normal to oily skin. So this is the second time I've worn it and I just wanted to film this. Um, I actually just applied the foundation and um, I wanted to film this now to give you kind of like my initial reactions on how it looks when you first apply it and give you some background information on the foundation and then I'll film a part two later tonight um, which will be like talking about how well it wears. And it's about six o'clock right now and I'm going out really late tonight. I probably won't be home till 3 or 4 so I'll get like a good 9 to 10 hours of wear out of this and it is kind of warm and humid outside so um, that will kind of be a good judge on like how well it wears for anything you know outside of like heavy workouts or something. Um, so I'm not sure how well you guys can tell the coverage. Um, I can tell pretty well but um, basically I have some acne scarring down here that it covers up really well. Um, I do have a separate concealer on on my under eyes but then I put this on over it and it does mask it pretty well. There's still a slight rosiness to my cheeks but it's very toned down. Um, and let me tell you about how I kind of put this foundation on. Basically I have on my Bare Essentials Primetime Primer. Then I use my e.l.f. Studio Under Eyes Concealer which it's definitely not a full coverage concealer. After I put it on, you can still see my dark circles, but I usually use that before mineral foundation just because using that under it and then putting the mineral foundation over it, excuse me, works better than either of them alone. So I'm wearing that. And then I took my NYC translucent face powder and just powdered my T-zone because, you know, even this even though this is a mattifying foundation, I've had some problems with other mineral foundations where I still get oily in my T-zone after a few hours. And, like I said, it's warm and humid outside, so that just, like, makes the problem even worse. So I powder my T-zone before I put on the foundation, and then I put on my mineral foundation and blush, highlight, or whatever. Then I powder my whole face to set it. Um, so after I powdered my T-zone, I used my Everyday Minerals Flat Top Buffer Brush for the foundation, which I like. It gives a lot of coverage. Um, as you guys can see, it's like really dense, and for those of you who have used this brush, you know it's really good to give like high coverage for mineral foundations. And, oh, right before that, I used my little um, Essence of Beauty concealer brush to just spot um, conceal these like little bluish scars. Um, and then I did my whole face with this. And so that's it. I'm not wearing any blush right now, I'm not wearing any extra powder or anything. This is just how it is. Um, so, first off, the coverage. I would say it is buildable because, um, you know, definitely when you put the first sort of like layer on and buff it in, if you want more coverage, you can go and put back and put more back over that. And I feel like you can build it up a couple sort of degrees of coverage without it feeling cakey and without feeling like you're just putting way too much on. Um, like, I mean, I'm not sure how this, I think this is like a one gram jar. And they sell it in up to 12 gram jars. And this one gram jar will probably last me, even though I go over my face a couple times, it'll probably last me at least four or five uses. Um, I've used it twice right now and it's like still about halfway full. So just to give you a good idea, and some of you might need less coverage than I do, so it might last you even longer. Um, this is not their most full coverage foundation, so if you are looking for more, co for more coverage, they have a foundation for that which I haven't tried that particular formula yet, but it's sort of like Everyday Minerals where they have like, you know, the different levels of like dewy versus mattifying, and then they have one that's more um, full coverage. So I'm going to try that one next, probably. Um, I would say the coverage is buildable from a light 
medium to a heavy medium. I wouldn't say it's just buildable from light medium to heavy because I wouldn't call this heavy coverage just because um, I I tried not to put on any concealer on these blemish scars beforehand which it covered those pretty well but like I said there's still a little bit of rosiness to my cheeks which with a fuller coverage foundation you wouldn't be able to see as much as you are right now if at all. I'm not sure how well you guys can tell through the camera but um, I can definitely tell looking in the mirror. It's not intolerable to where you know I'm like oh my god my cheeks are so rosy this foundation isn't doing anything for them but I, I can still tell like if, if I wanted to tonight I could probably go out and not wear any blush and I wouldn't look like unnaturally white all over because you can still see that um so if you need like a medium coverage mineral foundation which you know if you're using mineral foundation you're probably not too worried about full coverage in the first place because you know, mineral foundations can cover well, but they definitely don't cover nearly as well as some liquids or creams do. So if you're using a mineral foundation in the first place and are comfortable with the coverage of most mineral foundations, I would say you'd be pretty, pretty comfortable with this formula. If you need just a tiny bit more, like I said, they have a fuller coverage formula available. Um, let's see, it is pretty mattifying. Like, I'm not noticing any shininess on my face right now. That might change in a couple hours. But, um... You know, it, it covered my shininess, I had like a tiny bit like on the end of my nose and on my T-zone, just like my forehead and stuff before I put this on, it helped with that. Um, the thing that I like the best about this particular formula is the finish that it gives. Like it said, like I said, it's supposed to be like kind of like a velvety type of finish. Mattifying, but I find that like with a lot of mattifying foundations, especially in the mineral families, they can be mattifying to the point where it looks like unnaturally creepy and where you get that kind of chalky finish. And this definitely doesn't do that. Um, I remember this is the second time I've worn it. The first time, like as soon as I was done putting it on, I looked in the mirror and I was like, oh my gosh, my skin looks so good. And I think it is the, for the formula and the finish that this foundation has. It makes your skin look soft. And I mean, honestly, the best way to describe it probably is a velvety finish. It looks like really smooth and it just kind of gives... I, I kind of hesitate to say airbrush because, you know, in makeup terms that usually gives the impression of it being like really full coverage and covers all your flaws and stuff, which it isn't full coverage, but it, the finish I would describe as either velvet or airbrush. It kind of has this like soft feel to it and kind of like, um, you know, like if you see movies where they go into like a dream sequence or something they have like really soft lighting like the soft focus camera lens that's what I feel that it feels like like it kinda just diffuses the light and makes you look softer and velvety I guess it, it's kinda hard to describe but this finish um, is definitely better than what I feel I've gotten from um, some liquid foundations from other mineral foundation companies that I've used I really love the finish of this. It just it makes it look like you have really good smooth skin, which um, today I'm getting better because I did do look kind of like a full facial last night. But a couple days ago when I wore this foundation for the first time, I definitely did not have the best skin. I was breaking out like crazy on my chin. Um, my nose was like a little bit dry, and my skin was just kind of like rough because I hadn't exfoliated in a while. But it gave the appearance that it was okay. So um, that's what I love the best about this foundation. Again, I will come back and film a part two tonight to tell you guys how well it wears over nine or ten hours. And Sorry guys, my camera was about to cut me off. But um, since I kind of rambled on for such a long time in this video, that probably will be part two. And I'll post a link in this video. But yeah, like I said so far, the finish is really good. The coverage, I would say, is about average for a mineral foundation. So medium to heavy medium, but definitely not heavy. Um, again, if you have as many skin, pro skin problems as me, you'll probably, you know, find it perfect. Um, the price is really good, and again, check out LumiereCosmetics.com, I'll put the link over there for more information on this and their other products. Please leave a comment or a message if you have any further questions for me on this product or any of the other Lumiere products that I'll be reviewing. Thanks for watching, have a good night. Bye guys.